I'm uh, Andy Hughes, I'm a, a panel engineer and that's one of 30 engineers impanelled by the Secretary of State to look after dams such as this, um, actually impanelled or uh, examined by the Institution of Civil Engineers. So I'm a civil engineer at heart um, and all dams of this type have to have an MOT certificate like a car and then an operator such as United Utilities can operate a dam to supply water. So Upper Rivington here um, is a dam that was built in the 1850s and it uh, supplies water down to a treatment works down at the bottom of the valley uh, and then on to customers in places like Bolton, Chorley etc. And usually everything is fine. We do the MOT certificates every 10 years and that allows an operator to operate his dam. But in 2002, I got a call on the 9th of February to say that an operator driving across the top of the dam here noticed dirty water in the stream below the dam. And that's an indication usually of something going wrong. And so there is an emergency declared because should this dam fail, and dams do fail, we have about four or five major incidents a year. Um, should this dam fail, then uh, hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, were at risk in the neighbouring town of Chorley, just downstream. So I came up uh, travelling overnight um, to see what the problem was. And uh, to cut a long story short, uh, over the next week or so, we got the water out of the reservoir uh, reduce the amount of water in the reservoir by pumping the water level down and sending it off to the stream downstream, therefore reducing the probability of the dam failing. But unfortunately the way this is set out here is that this is a link in a chain, so there are a number of reservoirs in a line and by taking one of the reservoirs out it means that we can't supply water further down the valley to the treatment works. So it was very important to get this reservoir repaired as quickly as possible. The civil engineers were involved essentially through this whole process in managing the dam initially um, and making it a, a water supply reservoir uh, and supplying the people of Bolton with treated water. Civil engineers were involved with the emergency in dealing with the emergency and getting rid of the water in the short term. And then civil engineers were subsequently involved over a period of about a year to repair the dam and to fill up the voids, grout up the holes in the dam that had appeared over a number of years um, and so bring the, the reservoir back into full use. I think the, the wonderful thing about dam engineering as part of civil engineering is that each dam is unique. Um, each location is unique. I go to some wonderful locations in the UK and overseas and each problem that we have is also different. So every day is different, every client is different, every problem is different. And yet it builds on all the basics of civil engineering, whether it be uh, soil mechanics, uh, concrete technology, um, civil engineering, hydraulics and hydrology. So it builds on lots of little different building blocks and makes every day different. And because we get three or four major incidents a year in the UK and you'll have seen other incidents overseas, um, you never know when the phone rings what the next problem is going to be.